Hey, you know what's uh what's more painful than uh you know surgery or you know any physical damage to your body ever? No, what? Trying to figure out a funny intro for these videos. Absolutely. What's going on, guys? We're the Cine Fanatics. My name is Chris Adams. I'm Robert Adams. And we've got another trailer. First trailer, or a second trailer, a third trailer. Who knows? This movie's been out already. We're getting another trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League. And when I say this movie's been out already, I say that cautiously, because technically this version of the movie has not been out yet. Yeah, this is going to be a whole bunch of probably new footage from Zack Snyder, just a whole reimagining movie comes out in a, uh, roughly about a month now. So eager to kind of see like what this, I believe this final put together trailer of everything is going to look like, uh, because this has been like one of the biggest like fan hypes on the internet, like ever, or at yeah. least since uh, the redesign of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> so, <laughs> but also because like, we got that we we knew this was coming like a year ago this this yeah. is kind of what they promoted hbo max with so you know one year later we're finally getting getting it out here and we're gonna see an actual trailer for it see some of the footage that Zack snyder has been holding on to that he finally gets to show to everybody uh yeah i'm excited i think we jump into this and see kind of what his vision actually looks like yeah Is he like exploding? Yeah. Ugh. The bells been wrong. Oh. It's uh Lex Luthor talking. Up in the dark. Among the stars. The god is dead. Interesting. I had a dream. Almost like a premonition. Wow. Nice. Oh, nice. Ooh. Nice. I need warriors. I'm building an alliance to defend ourselves. How do you know your team's strong enough? If you can't bring down the charging bull and don't wave the red cape at it. Clever. That's cool. You were sent here for a reason. And even if it takes you the rest of your life. That's so weird. Person, yes. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Okay, this this might actually be pretty good. Of heroes will never come again. It will. I'm into it. It has to. That's I nice. like this. Yeah, that looks good. Looks we really live good. in a society. Wait. Where honor is a distant memory. Wait. Oh, really? Isn't that right? Wait. Batman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Time out. Did Joker really just say we live in a society? That he did. That's funny. Um <laughs> what? <laughs> So, uh, the entire trailer, awesome. <laughs> what? The meme reference. It's okay. <laughs> uh, here's the thing. I liked it. I really liked the trailer. A lot of goodwill built up there for me. Uh, mm -hmm. And here's the thing. Going to preface this. Still excited. Still really interested. Um, it just looks like there's a lot of really cool stuff that's happening there. But... You almost lost me there with the we live in a society reference. Like that's, I, 
and people in the chat can probably correct me here. I believe that originated from one of the uh, Arkham games or a Batman game of some sort where Joker, where Joker actually said that line. Uh, the meme itself might have originated from somewhere before that, but either way, th it's a meme. That's that's what we need to need to make sure we understand here. Yeah, that was a meme, and they actually used it for the movie. Now, granted, I know we got that image of. We got that image of Jared Leto that released online before this. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, some people like it. Some people don't. I thought it looked fine. I thought it looked better than how he looked in Suicide Squad. Here, I think in motion, he looks really good. I mean, you know, he, I, again, he looks better than I think he looked in Suicide Squad. I like that he doesn't have those weird tattoos on his face. But I don't know. I don't know about that. We live in a society thing. <laughs> Uh, going back to this whole movie, though, like what's funny about this is we've seen Justice League already. So yeah. there was portions of this here. Like, I remember that in the movie, like we can tell like certain action scenes, uh, like where what they're going to be doing like that, that part of the movie that we've seen, we're already familiar with. We know it's going to be a part of this one. So we kind of can see like a little bit of how the story's supposed to be together. But at the same time, there's just so much. There was so much in that trailer that we haven't seen before that wasn't a part of the original movie. So I'm really curious as to like how the 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 flow the follow through on that basically. How's it going to flow together? How's it going to look? And what kind of a movie are we getting this time around? Yeah. Uh, a lot more stuff added to it and. Like I'm kind of curious to see like the the bits and pieces that we're already familiar with how it all ties in. Just that looks yeah. that looks like it's gonna be pretty good, for sure. I mean, yeah, we're looking at a situation right now where uh, they've come out and stated like anything that Joss Whedon shot, uh, Zack Snyder's not using. So it is pretty much anything in this movie is going to be solely what Zack Snyder shot, what he already had prepared, and the visual effects that he finished in in production for this over the course of this last year. Uh, so we are basically getting while well, we're basically getting a whole new movie essentially while still maintaining some of the same story elements that were present before. What yeah. I like here though is that we're getting uh, more dark side. Now I think that's cool. I, I I still think like overall the whole structure of DC is they're kind of jumping way ahead of probably where they need to be uh, plot wise. And again, I don't know if they're really even going to try to continue off this movie. They said they weren't, but. We'll see how successful it is. But I, either way, I like to see Dark Side, and I like that they're what Zack Snyder's doing here, what they're allowing to happen here is kind of a firm, yes, let's let's pull stuff from the comics and actually stay true to it. I mean, you saw real quickly there, I remember seeing uh, there was like a, it looked like a throne room type thing. You had Desaad there. You had what looked like Granny Goodness there also. Yeah. So that that's, that's a really cool thing because like, we're, we're still in a position where it's like, did you ever think that we would see granny goodness on a big screen in live action? <laughs> no, especially given after like essentially the failure of the original Justice League. I didn't think they would go back and do that. I thought it was going to be like having to re like scrap almost the entire DCEU start over again. And then eventually we'll get back up to like a dark side storyline proper with yeah. like granny goodness, sod, Calabac, all of them. So uh, yeah, uh, surprised that we're getting this. It looks fantastic. I can't wait. And we just still got like roughly about a month to go. So, yeah, here's the thing, guys. We are going to be watching it. We're going to be watching it here, doing a review for you here on this channel. So you're going to want to come back, tune into that. I know also, I think uh, we're probably planning on doing a watch along. Maybe you want to firm that up here, but I think we're going to do a watch along of the first one, provided it's still on HBO Max by the time we get there. That way we can kind of do like a compare and contrast kind of a thing, which I think will be a lot of fun. And that's going to be on our Patreon, which you can sign up on our Patreon at the, I believe that's going to be at the dude tier on our Patreon. You'll be able to get all the watch alongs and stuff there. All sorts of fun stuff's happening on that Patreon, including links to our Discord where we're doing all kinds of cool stuff over there, building a community of movie lovers and whatnot there. Uh, also, if you want to check out anything else we're doing, you're going to want to follow us at Cinefanatics MLP on Twitter, on Instagram. That's what we're, that's the places that we're letting everybody know everything we're doing there. You can follow me specifically at Chris Adams MLP. You can follow him specifically at Robert Adams MLP. And that's again, that's where you're going to find everything that we're doing 
up there on the social medias. Apart from that, you know what else are we doing? We're doing all sorts of stuff. So stay tuned. Check it out. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can hit the subscribe button that's right up here above our heads. Over here off to the side are a couple other videos that we have made. And as always, don't uh, red capes get the red cape with the bullet, the charging bullet. It was a Superman reference. Get it? Mm, good ones. Funny. It is. Later. <laughs> <laughs>